The first ops and ops options. As you already know, the number of iterations of data step is equal to the number of observations in our data set. As obvious, if there are less observations, then SAS will be taking less time to process it. So, it is better to read only the required subset of data to your current data set in order to make your program more efficient. For that, we will be using set statements first ops option or set statements ops option. When we use set statements first ops option, it tells SAS to begin reading the data from the input SAS data set at the line number specified by first ops. Whereas when we use set statements ops option, it tells SAS to stop reading the data from the input SAS data set at the line number specified by ops. Here you can see that I am creating a new temporary SAS dataset survey from our permanent SAS dataset demo.survey by using set statement without any options. Here in output you can see that we have got triple nine observations and 15 variables. Here in the first case you can see how I have used set statements ops option for creating the temporary SAS dataset survey from permanent SAS dataset demo.survey by reading just first 10 observations and later we are using proc print step to print temporary survey dataset. As you can notice here. Similarly, in the second case, I am using set statements first ops and ops option for creating the temporary SAS dataset from permanent SAS dataset demo.survey by reading observations ranging from 5 till 10. As you can notice here, as here in the output, you can see that we are getting observations ranging from 5th observation till 10th observation. You can verify this from this output dataset. Note, you should always enclose first ops and ops within parentheses. That's it. See you in next lecture. Thanks.